the legendary Hubble telescope is dying and it seems like NASA is running out of options. However, all is not lost and there is one final card NASA can play, SpaceX. Elon Musk's rocket company is the only one that can attempt a mission to repair the Hubble on short notice. But before such a mission can be put together, SpaceX has another significant launch on the horizon. The company is expected to carry the US Air Force's mysterious X-37B space plane into orbit aboard a Falcon Heavy. Let's take a look at this imminent launch and how SpaceX may help NASA revive the Hubble telescope. As 2023 comes to a close, SpaceX is making significant strides, with the Falcon 9 continuing to be a favored workhorse. However, the larger Falcon Heavy is set to take center stage in a historic event. It is gearing up for the seventh mission of the US Air Force's X-37B space plane from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida this week. This mission represents the fifth launch of the Falcon Heavy in 2023, reflecting a crucial commitment to national security that was planned half a decade ago. To prepare for the upcoming launch, SpaceX recently conducted a static fire test over the weekend. However, just before this fiery display, a twist occurred when the US Space Force announced a delay in the launch of its mysterious X-37B space plane for mission USSF-52. Initially scheduled for December 7th, the launch has now been rescheduled to December 10th at Launch Complex 39A. The delay is attributed to constraints at the launch complex and shifting schedules. As stated in a release from Space Force Brigadier General Kristen Panzenhagen of Space Launch Delta 45, the statement highlighted collaboration with launch service providers and rallied the team for an impeccable mission. An email from the Space Systems Command SSC also conveyed the updated schedule. In the captivating 12-second static fire test on December 3rd, the Falcon Heavy, representing the pinnacle of commercial rocketry, roared to life. The first stage, powered by Merlin 1D engines, unleashed a fiery display, likely generating a colossal 2,350 tons of thrust. With this successful test under its belt, Falcon Heavy's fourth launch is on the horizon, expected within the next five to 10 days. However, before its grand departure, there are additional steps in the process. A return to launch complex 39A's hangar is in store, where the fairing will be fitted, marking another majestic return to the launch pad. The rescheduled USSF-52 liftoff on December 10th is set to launch from Kennedy Space Center's launch complex 39A, with details of the specific launch window to be revealed as the date approaches, according to the SSC email. This mission represents the reusable space plane's inaugural journey on a Falcon Heavy rocket, signifying a notable departure from its previously clandestine missions. In contrast to the X-37B's earlier voyages using United Launch Alliance's Atlas V rockets, this upcoming flight is an extraordinary venture into uncharted territory, having only been taken to the skies once aboard a Falcon 9. During its recent mission, the X-37B spent a graceful 98 days in orbit before returning to Earth on November 12, 2022. The landing took place on the familiar runway at Kennedy Space Center, previously used for space shuttle landings. Now the Falcon Heavy, consisting of three Falcon 9 boosters for the rocket's initial stage, takes the stage. Known for its ability to carry heavier payloads to higher orbits, the Falcon Heavy surpasses both the Atlas V and the Falcon 9. With this capability, it is set to propel the X-37B even farther into the celestial expanse than before. While the spacecraft's operational capabilities remain shrouded in secrecy, 
The objectives for USS F-52 appear ambitious. The Space Force's release hinted at the X-37B venturing into new orbital regimes. Among the unclassified experiments during USS F-52 is NASA's SEEDS-2. This groundbreaking endeavor aims to scrutinize the radiation effects of prolonged spaceflight on plant seeds. The Space Force disclosed additional mission objectives, including experimenting with space domain awareness technologies. This maiden joint journey of the Falcon Heavy and X-37B isn't the rocket's inaugural flight for the Space Force. SpaceX has obtained approval to launch national security payloads using reconditioned stages. The side boosters set for USS F-52 carry an illustrious history, each having ventured on four prior missions. Among these missions were two Space Force launches in November 2022 and January 2023, along with the deployment of the Hughes-Jupiter-3 communications satellite and NASA's Psyche probe earlier this year. In the imminent launch following the booster's retrieval, both SpaceX and NASA officials have revealed plans to test their abilities even further. These venerable boosters are set to be harnessed for a sixth and final mission, an ambitious expedition to ferry NASA's Europa Clipper mission to the moon of Jupiter in October 2024. Hey Spacers, it's always a win for space science when agencies work with each other to further our reach into space. And to stay up to date on that reach, please subscribe and like our content and stay notified by clicking the bell. And now on to Hubble Trouble. In another significant development, concerns about the Hubble Space Telescope's functionality have sparked discussions within NASA about the potential approval of a private mission to revive and potentially repair the spacecraft. On November 29th, NASA announced that the Hubble Space Telescope had entered safe mode due to a malfunction in one of its three operational gyroscopes. This specific gyroscope had previously triggered a safe mode on November 19th due to inaccurate readings. Although spacecraft controllers restored Hubble's operations, issues resurfaced on November 21st and the 23rd. Engineers are actively investigating the problem, and it remains uncertain when normal scientific operations will resume. While the Hubble Space Telescope can still operate with just one gyroscope, there may be a partial loss of efficiency, particularly in certain solar system observations. The telescope, originally equipped with six gyros since its last servicing mission in 2009, has experienced issues with three of these gyros malfunctioning over time. The recent temporary setback for Hubble prompted a response from Jared Isaac Mann, the billionaire supporter of SpaceX's Polaris program for private astronaut missions. On social media, he posted, Put us in, coach, referring to the study announced in September 2022. This study, involving Isaac Mann, SpaceX, and NASA, explored the potential for a private mission using SpaceX's Crew Dragon to reboot and potentially repair Hubble. Isaac Mann had previously suggested that a Hubble mission could be the second of three planned Polaris missions. While the study, conducted under an unfunded Space Act agreement, concluded earlier this year, both NASA and SpaceX have kept details about the findings and subsequent steps under wraps. Isaac Mann hinted on social media that the study suggested the feasibility of a reboot and servicing mission, stating, this should be an easy risk and reward decision without revealing specific mission approaches. While SpaceX remains one option for servicing Hubble, NASA had previously issued a request for information, seeking concepts for commercial missions to boost the telescope. The agency received eight responses, including one from Astroscale in partnership with Momentus. However, NASA has not disclosed a timeline for the evaluation of these proposals as part of the review. 
NASA is examining the capabilities of the Hubble Space Telescope and ensuring its safety during the servicing process. Mark Klampin, director of NASA's Astrophysics Division, discussed the ongoing review of these servicing proposals during a NASA Science Town Hall meeting on July 27th. Industry insiders have expressed confidence in the feasibility of a reboot mission using either Crew Dragon or a robotic spacecraft. Such a mission could counteract the gradual orbital decay experienced by Hubble due to atmospheric drag, effectively extending its operational lifespan. However, skepticism surrounds the prospects of conducting repairs on Hubble given the intricacies of such tasks. Crew Dragon lacks essential capabilities, such as an airlock and a robotic arm, which are necessary for servicing missions. Additionally, existing robotic systems have not yet demonstrated their ability to perform sophisticated repairs in the challenging environments of space. Despite these limitations, SpaceX may be NASA's only hope to reboot the Hubble and save it from doom. What do you think, spacers? Should NASA invest in a mission to save the Hubble? Or should the telescope be allowed to shut down since the much newer James Webb Telescope is now in service? Please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to stay notified of new and awesome space content. Thank you for spacing out with us and see you next video.